Hello, stationary friends. Welcome back to Ginger Peachy Pins. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sarah, and um, I enjoy talking about all things fountain pens and fountain pen inks, plus other kinds of stationery, Hobonichi, planner, um, that kind of thing sometimes. Mostly pens and inks, though. That is my favorite. Um, today, we are swatching 24 inks. Um, these were sent to me by my friend Robin. She is Talks from the Heart here on YouTube. I'll give you a little preview here. Dropped my microphone, but she sent me 24 inks. Um, 20 of these are um, from Birmingham Pen Company and four of them are not. And so, but they're all inks that I have never tried before. Um, so I'm excited to dig into them with you. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, I've only ever tried one ink from Birmingham Pen Company. So um, it's kind of new to me. They're not very easy to get a hold of as far as like um, samples go. So, and I've just never taken the plunge and bought any bottles, even though they all look beautiful. So let's get into it. Um, our first ink is called uh, Tea Berry Ice Cream. It's from Birmingham Pen Co. I'm probably going to abbreviate <laughs> Birmingham Penco here because um, there are a lot of them. So she sent some in these cute little glass bottles. Um, she said these were thrifted, that they're vintage, and I really love them, but they are kind of hard to get uh, to get a swatch out of. Uh, I imagine that they're probably easiest to use with a, um, a blunt syringe. I'm going to get this drop of ink off of there. All right. So number one, I think I have in my mind a layout to fit all of these, but we shall see how it goes. So this is BPC Tea Berry Ice Cream. That fits nicely right there. Um, let's see. She had a couple of little wider swatches right here. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see if we do that. I didn't plan uh, super well, I guess. That is a really light pink. Um, it's really pretty. This one reminds me a lot of... Noodler's um, Georgia Peach, which is not a very usable everyday ink for me. It's a nice one for like highlighting and that sort of thing. So, um, but I just, and I just love that pink um, regardless. So there is that one. I'm going to try not to say there is that one after each one because I tend to do that. All right. This one is Birmingham Pen Company Sweetheart. So let's see if I can load up my pen here. And forgive me if these are from any kind of collections or anything. I just don't know. I did not purchase them. So Birmingham Pen Company Sweetheart. That is a really cute. That might be more similar to Noodler's Georgia Peach. I'm not sure. I think it. I think Georgia Peach is a little bit pinker though, and this is a little bit more orange. Um, maybe I'll get out my swatch later and compare. The next one is Birmingham Penco Southern Portal. These sample vials are easier to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on there. This is a really pretty pinkish, brownish shade. B, P, C, Southern Portal. And I was going to say it's kind of a brick color, but <laughs> the next ink is Birmingham Pen Company Weathered Brick. And you'll see this one um, is more of a, obviously, a red brick color. 
So to compare it to that last one, hopefully will give you an idea of where it kind of falls on that spectrum. I have swatched these on my swatch cards, so I've kind of seen them before and I lined them up in sort of color order. BPC, weathered brick. That's a really pretty, um, like you almost want to call it a maroon, um, but it's sort of a brown, sort of a red. None of the inks that she sent me are red, red, which is fine with me. I don't, um, I don't really use red inks. Um, so putting these in sort of color order, there's not a red, but, um, but I love these kind of, uh, reddish tones. All right, this one is Birmingham Pen Company Waterfront Dusk. I would like to know in the comments if you have used inks from Birmingham Pen Company and what did you think of them? What were your favorites? Um, if you have a lot of experience with them, yeah, share what are the best inks that you've used. This is BPC. Waterfront dusk. Oh, I like that a lot. It's a really purpley, a warm, plummy purple. I really like that because I love purples um, and I also really like magenta type colors and this is kind of darker. This really is almost the color of a raisin to me. I hope you'll be able to see these well. It's hard for me to tell from my vantage point <laughs> looking at my uh, camera screen, you know. All right, this next one is Birmingham Penco, again, um, Chrysan Thimum. I don't know why the word is split, but I looked it up and it is Chrysan Thimum, but like the actual flower is all one word, right? So I don't know why that is. That is an interesting thing to me. Probably I could do some research and find out. But I have not done that. All right. So this is a purple, like a gray purple. Very interesting. CH. Yes. Femme. It kind of changes color as it dries. Um, I knocked over some of my swatches back here and I've got them all lined up in order. So I'm gonna try to stand it back up. There's one, two, okay. So there's that. Can you see it? Maybe I'll do this. I need to stop picking this up over and over and show you at the end for the sake of time. So moving on, Birmingham Penco eroded bronze. I'm going to line them up here. And hopefully try not to get my hand in what I've already done. Which I guess this kind of defeats the purpose of me having them all sort of in a rainbowish order. But oh well, what are you gonna do? This I did not know what to expect when I saw the name eroded bronze, but it is a really pretty gray blue sort of color. B P C eroded bronze. I'm gonna have to work on my lining up here to make sure everything's gonna fit. But I think it will. All right, next is I had to look and see was this Birmingham pen, and I wrote the little BPC on here because she had just written cold steel, and so but it is um, as far as I can tell Birmingham Pen Company. Cold Steel. This looks like a really nice um, navy blue. Mm, let me go up, up at this a little bit. Oh no, I splattered something. Really pretty. 
Birmingham and Company Cold Steel. It does do some finer lines, this pin. I'm still kind of um, learning how to best use this um, Kakimori nib. I really like it. But let me see. Get a little container to put these in as I finish with them because they're just kind of falling all over my desk. All right, that's better. Okay, next is Birmingham Pen Company Tesla Coil. This is a super sheening ink. If you like um, organic studio nitrogen, this is one that you would also love. It is a, I don't know if the blue is exactly similar, but this is a heavy sheener, which is actually not my favorite ink quality. But it's nice to have a couple in your collection, in my collection. Um, yeah. I think we'll be able to fit all these on this page. I mean, on these two pages. Tesla coil. Oh, no, that really, <laughs> that really uh, blewed up my water. So I may have to take a break in a minute and go. Get fresh water. Birmingham Pen Company Boiler Steam is our next ink. And since I'm not using a paintbrush, I did not get two, you know, a lot of times I have two water um, vessels to rinse things twice. And I did not bring two for this. All right. This is a really pretty dark teal, I would say. This is Birmingham Pen Co. Boiler Steam. Here's some little fine lines of that. It's really pretty. Seems very saturated um, and wet. Seems like a really wet ink, which is usually my preference. Birmingham Pen Company Pennsylvania Slate. I've actually put this into an ink, I mean, into a pen re already. This is the one of all of these that I've put into a pen so far because I wanted to get this video out and kind of, I don't know, see them all lined up like this. I've done the swatch cards, but truthfully, it's... Um, easier to see them all on one page, you know, so you can kind of compare. So this is BPC. Pennsylvania. Slate. You know, I have all these... <laughs> these dreams in my mind of how like I'm going to line these up on my page so perfectly and my handwriting is going to be really nice and like believe it or not I actually have what I consider to be really nice handwriting normally but I just have a really hard time getting it to come across <laughs> in these ink swatch videos so <laughs> what you gonna do Birmingham Pinco hot rolled steel it's the next one this might be a little bluer. Let's see. We'll see if this is a little bluer than the last one or not. I tried to get them in a pretty good order, but, um, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. It actually looks really similar to that one, to Pennsylvania Slate. Yeah, it is a little greener, so I did, I did the right thing. BPC. Hot. Rolled steel. I just realized I forgot to do my little extra swatches down here on the chrysanthemum. Do I want to go back and add them? Maybe. I 
can find it. I can tell I'm a perfectionist. I'm just kidding. I am a perfectionist in some things in life, but I've tried hard to not be, you know, in things that don't matter so much. I might have mixed a little bit of this ink in there with that, but at least the lines are there. <laughs> I try to just roll with, go with the flow, roll with the bunches, whichever. Birmingham Pen Company Aluminum Oxide. I'm excited to get into the greens that are coming up because I really like some of these greens. There's one of these inks that already I'm like, ooh, that might be one that I could, could potentially own a bottle of at some point. Not jumping that gun yet. I'll use up the sample first and have to see if it's available because I think that Birmingham Pen's kind of does a lot of things special edition. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out of frame here. B, P, C. Aluminum. Oxide. Yep, that's a really dark, dark, dark green with just a little blue. It's not a solid green. It's a little bit of a blue green. I want to over tighten this and she sent all of these not everything arrived intact except one ink um sample vial had cracked like right here it had a little crack right at the top here and so a little bit of ink had kind of seeped out thankfully it was not it it really only got on the one vial and just a little bit in the bag but um but yeah i was kind of impressed all right what did i just do i think i picked up the wrong one all right, so the next one is Birmingham Fountain Turquoise. Oh, I picked that up to show you what, where the crack was. This color, if you know me at all, you know is right up my alley. Um, this is one in one of these bottles, so it's a pretty generous sample she sent me, actually. Looks like, um, like seven mils, which is quite a lot. Thank you, Robin. When it says fountain turquoise, I don't know what that fountain means. Um, someone can tell us that below. Does that mean a certain collection? Turquoise, T-U-R-Q-U-O-I-S-E. One of those that I have to think about. All right, this one is one that I love already. Birmingham Penco Kentucky Bluegrass. I am really excited to have these all lined up like this so I can really see what I've got. So an upcoming video I have. Um, haven't made it yet, but is going to be some of the inks that I purchased samples of from the Ink Rainbow series. Um, I think we have about 30 videos, like 27 or 28 people have done the Ink Rainbow so far. Is this as dark as it should be? Um, and, um, and yeah, so um, I, Maybe you will think I'm crazy, but I kept track of ones that I wanted to try. I've been keeping track and have ordered a few samples, just like um, eight maybe at this point samples for ones that I want to try, even though I am trying not to buy inks. I just, um, I thought this would be a fun video. So, and um, all right, let me get, let me get this done and then I can talk about that a little more maybe at the end. So this might be a little bit of a dry ink. But I really like this green. It's a very like grassy, greeny green. I don't know. I don't think. I mean, like, it kind of seems silly to not think I have a green like this because it just sort of seems like green. <laughs> 
but um, I don't think I have an ink like this. All right, this one is Birmingham Pinco Lichen Watermark. Lichen Watermark. Do a little dip. So I'm going to tell on myself a little bit here. Um, when I got this Kaki Mori nib, did I tell you this the first time I used this nib? I don't know. I'm sorry if I did. Um, but when I got this nib, for some reason, I was under the impression that um, that this nib was made up of like, I'm sorry, of like eight, is it eight or ten, like separate tines that came out. And so for some reason, I thought that like this whole, the whole inside of this nib filled up with ink, like it just held onto it and that the tips all came together to write. So like, that's why I thought that this held so much ink. I know that might sound crazy to you. And I, you know, to me, it was like a mystery. How could it possibly be smooth if it had like eight tines coming together? But I couldn't imagine, like, I really didn't think it was just grooves around the edges. I don't know. Call me crazy. I just didn't for some reason. Because I was like, how in the world does it hold so much ink? But um, it does hold a lot, but obviously not as much as I thought. So, all right. This is another Birmingham Pinco ink. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I told a friend about that and she laughed at me. I was like, well, you know, I just... That's what I thought. I had not held one in my hands before. This is a really nice um, green antique sepia, but it is pretty dry um, and light, which it makes it beautiful, but um, I don't know. We'll have to see how we like it, how we like, how I like it in a pen. Probably should get new water, but nah, we're just going to keep going. Try to wipe off my nib really good. All right, this one is Birmingham Pen Stormwater Runoff, which when I hear that kind of makes me like, ugh, because um, I live in South uh, Louisiana and we have hurricanes here and, um, you know, lots of big, big rain. And um, I know what stormwater runoff looks like and it's not pretty. In fact, I was in... Um, I was somewhere yesterday and I had to sit and wait. And so I was talking a little bit with a lady who was sitting near me and, um, hold on, I can't t talk and do this at the same time. Storm water runoff. She told me that she had been in Massachusetts, I want to say. And, oh, so we were sitting in this place waiting, and it came, like, a huge, huge, huge rainstorm. I mean, it was raining cats and dogs, and, you know, the wind was blowing, and that's, like, just a normal, you know, Monday for <laughs> us down here. We just have these big storms. Like, throughout the summer, we pretty much have rain every day, and m most days, it's not just a light shower. Like, we actually kind of get a deluge for sometimes just five minutes, but sometimes half an hour or even more, so you know, I was like, wow, it's really coming down out there, you know, but it's not like it's unusual. It just, I actually really enjoy it. She said she was in Massachusetts visiting on a, or on a uh, vacation or something. And it started raining like that. And she said, people were coming in going, can you believe this rain? We'd never get rain like this. And, um, she was like, what do you mean? And they were like, this is, it's raining so hard. And look how big the raindrops are. Like, <laughs> and she came in and she was like, this is not normal because, because that's what we have down here. You know, we have these giant raindrops every day. So pretty much, I mean, we, we have dry spells, but throughout the summer, spring and summer, we pretty much get rain just about every day. But I just thought that was interesting how different, you know, different parts of the world are, um, even just with rain. I mean, of course, I know that sounds silly. I, I know, I know that the weather is different in different places, but 
This is, I'm sorry, this is projector film. This is another one that I'm kind of like, why did we make this ink color? <laughs> it is a yellowish, greenish beige. That is the exact, that is the Pantone color. <laughs> that is the Pantone color for this ink. Yellowish, greenish beige. I will lift it up in a minute and show you. I may even pull out my swatch cards and just run through them. Let's see. Okay, this one is Birmingham Pens Black Olive. It is what I use to write the little header at the top. So it's it's a black. I know it doesn't. Oh, gosh. I know it doesn't exactly fall uh, in the rainbow after beige, but... It was the last one I had. I didn't want to stick it in the middle of these. So, because it doesn't really have much of a blue or a green leaning to it. I would say it's kind of got a blue-gray undertone. Let's see. B. Oh, goodness. P. C. Black. Olive. Yeah, I like this Kaki Mori nib that it... Um, you know, I can do all of this with one dip and then it cleans off really easily. So I'm not using a paintbrush and a dip nib, but I do find it really finicky to get consistent lines with it. I don't know. I think I just need to work with it some more. All right. So these last four inks are not Birmingham Penco and some of them have been around for a long time. So they're not like brand new, but uh, well, one of them is, but this is Diamine Hope Pink. It is a pink that I had never tried before and have always thought that it looked beautiful. And um, Robin said, have you used Hope Pink before? I said, no ma'am, I would love to. So she sent me a very full sample here, which I really appreciate. Let me try to get this lid on. Try not to spill my very full sample. Look at that. So it is a hot pink bright bright pink almost right bpc all right diamine hope pink kind of hate to put these right up against these um bpc inks because they're just so different but i just wanted to save them for the end all right, she very kindly sent me a sample of Pelican Rose Quartz, the new Pelican ink of the year. Um, I very well may end up with a bottle of this ink, but I need to use it some because I'm not positive how usable it is in real life. Um, I don't know. I need to ink up a pen, a couple of pens with it, and try it out. I really like the color, but I'm also waiting to see... Surely Pelican is going to release a pen to go with it later in the year. They, you know, they have ever since the, I think the Amethyst was, was the Amethyst the first one? And, um, yeah, so, okay. Pelican. I'm not going to write the Edelstein. I'm just going to write Rose Quartz. And it's 2023. So, it seems to be pretty legible and even fine lines. It does feel pretty dry to me um, so far. I may try a little white lightning in it, see if that helps. All right, this next one is Lamy Azurite. I think it's a Lamy Crystal ink. Um, Azurite, Azurite. This ink color is also really gorgeous. Um, these Lamy crystal inks have just never been on my radar. I don't know why. I only own, I think, three Lamy inks. Um, like full bottles. I, yeah, I actually don't think I own any other samples aside from this one of Lamy inks. No real reason. All right, Lamy. Again, I think it's crystal, but I'm going to write, just write Azurite. I 
I'm drifting away from the edge of the page too, which is not helping me with my space. Oh man, I really need to take the time to like make blocks on the page or something to help me stay where I want to, to actually make pretty pages. Some people make these beautiful pages. All right, this ink has shimmer. She sent the whole bottle. Um, I really do like this one. I have not gotten into a pen yet. This, I believe, well, I yes, I'm sure, is an organic studio ink. I don't know what has happened to the label because it doesn't say anything other than have a picture of a frog. So I had to kind of Google like what brand has a frog ink that is shimmery. And it is organic studio. Oh no. It's got some dry stuff around the edge of the cap. Let me try to... Okay. I think all the dry stuff came off on the desktop. So this is a shimmery ink. And it is so fun. Super bright green. And I believe it's just called Organic Studio Frog. I'm sure it was a collection. I don't know any more about it. Organic Studio frog. I like frogs. I mean, I don't like have a pet frog or anything, but I think they're precious. Yep. Nice green line. I need to get this into a pen because I think it's super fun. It'd be really fun for summer. So here are my inks from Robin. Let's see if I can show you closely. Tea Berry Ice Cream, Sweetheart, Eroded Bronze, Cold Steel, Southern Portal, Tesla Coil, Weathered Brick, Boiler Steam, Waterfront Dusk, Pennsylvania Slate, Chrysanthemum, Hot Rolled Steel, Aluminum Oxide, Projector Film, Fountain Turquoise, Black Olive, Kentucky Bluegrass, which is maybe my favorite, Diamond Hope Pink, Lichen Watermark, Pelican Rose Quartz, Antique CPL, Lamy Azurite, Stormwater Runoff, and Frog. So let me quickly, let's see. Let's see if these are helpful. Tea Berry Ice Cream, Sweetheart, Southern Portal, Weathered Brick, Waterfront Dusk, Chrysanthemum, yeah, I think you're getting a better representation here, Eroded Bronze, Cold Steel, Tesla Coil, look at that, Red Sheen, Boiler Steam has a little red sheen too, I don't know if it, how much it comes out in writing, if it's just in the large swatches. Pennsylvania Slate, They're pretty, Hot Rolled Steel, similar but a little greener, Aluminum Oxide, similar to Hot Rolled Steel but a little darker, Fountain Turquoise, which to me looks similar to Diamine Marine, which is one of my favorite inks, that beautiful Kentucky Bluegrass, I'm loving that ink, not pretty. Lichen Watermark, that's a beautiful olive green. Antique Sepia, such an interesting shade. Stormwater Runoff, which comes off as kind of a nice honey brown here. Projector Film also comes out as a brownish beige. Can't see those green tones as much there. Black Olive, nice kind of shiny black. Hope pink. It's a bright, bright pink. Rose quartz, pelican, rose quartz. Mommy azurite. Oh, I forgot this has that green sheen in it, which is really interesting. And the frog. <laughs> Look at that. How fun. So, anyway, thank you for staying to the end. 
Um, if you came to the end, why don't you put a frog emoji in the comments? So I know that you stayed the whole 36 uh, minutes so far. Um, yeah, I have a, I'm excited about the video coming up. That is some of my samples from, um, like I said, things that I bought from the Rainbow of Inks tag. These are some that I wanted to try. Um, so we're going to go through those soon. I have not tried them yet myself at all. Um, and I have a few more that I want to try as well. So that's coming soon. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this, I would love if you would like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. I love chatting with you. And um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Go check out Robin's channel if you like um, planners, stickers, um, fountain pens, those kinds of things. I'll link her below as well. And um, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day. Bye.